Donald Trump took the stage Sunday night at New York's Madison Square Garden to deliver his campaign's closing argument with the election nine days away. Elon Musk, SpaceX and Tesla CEO, took the stage at Trump's event, in his black MAGA hat. The energy in this room's incredible, the future is going to be amazing, he said. Melania Trump heralded New York City as our hometown and the world's undisputed capital of industry as she took the stage Sunday, a rare appearance by the former first lady, who has been largely absent on the campaign trail. It was her first speech of the campaign. I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark, gothic MAGA. Well, it's, the energy in this room is incredible. What a, what a, what a great group of people. It's All right, I've only got one question for okay. you, and then I'm getting out of here, because this right. is your stage. But we set up Doge. Yes. How much do we, you think we can rip out of this wasted $6.5 trillion Harris-Biden budget. Well, I, I think we, we can do at least $2 trillion. Yeah! <laughs> yes. $2 trillion. I mean, at the end of the day, you're being taxed. You're being taxed. All government spending is taxation. So whether it's, it's direct taxation or all government spending, it either becomes inflation or it's, it's direct taxation. Your money is being wasted and the Department of Government Efficiency is going to fix that. We're going to get the government off your back and out of your pocketbook. And Amer America is just not, not just going to be great. America is going to reach heights that it has never seen before. The future is going to be amazing. Good evening, New York City! Hello, Madison Square Garden! Our hometown, where architectural symbols of strength, courage, and unity create a canvas for the world's undisputed capital of industry. And now... Please welcome our next Commander-in-Chief, my husband, President Donald J. Trump! Russian opposition political strategist Abbas Galiamov, in an interview for the YouTube channel Now, stated that the level of chaos in Russian politics is increasing every day and this leads to the idea of Putin's death. I told the professor Valery Solovey that I am already ready to believe the version about Putin in the refrigerator, otherwise it will soon be completely impossible to explain the mess that is happening in the country, the expert noted. True, Galiamov then clarified, right now he is not yet ready to confirm Putin's death and still believes that the Russian president is alive. But the Kremlin's completely illogical actions sometimes prompt him to think, maybe he really did die? According to Galiamov, today's chaos within the Russian Federation will decrease if Putin's army continues to achieve success at the front and Putin in the foreign policy sphere. He managed to gather a large number of countries at BRICS and Guterres even came. Of course, this is a foreign policy success that everyone can see. This helps discipline Russians, align them in a row, and become ready to run to carry out Putin's orders. If such successes continue, then the level of chaos will slow down and will not be of such a fateful nature for the Russian Federation, the expert explained. 
Earlier, Abbas Galyamov responded to rumors about Putin's imminent departure from the post of President of the Russian Federation. Everything is now moving in this direction. It's clear that the system is heading towards collapse, the analyst said. The system needs to be saved. And the best way to save the system is, of course, to get rid of Putin. Thus, the transfer of power in the Russian Federation, according to all laws of logic, should indeed happen. Galeamo believes because if you want to prevent a revolution, you must organize a reform. This is the ABC of political science. The expert emphasized, in some situations, when the contradictions between society and the government or different social groups are so acute, as they are now in the Russian Federation, a revolution becomes inevitable. Everything is moving in this direction now, and the only way to prevent a revolution is to organize a reform and begin to regulate conflict relations.